Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week. Oh no, this is for um, the next three months. This is for uh, January through March of 2024. We're just going to see what comes up for you at this time. Uh, you have this Seven of Cups as your first card. So definitely, ima like I feel a lot of imagining here at the beginning of the year for you, uh, where you could be like thinking about a lot of different directions or things that you want to move, uh, move towards or create in your life. Yeah, you have the Nine of Cups as well. Uh, Nine of Cups is very similar because, um, you know, Nine of Cups is like bathing in an energy of something you want before you have it. And so a lot of you, again, could, you know, part of when you imagine something, then you, um, you know, that, that's when you can kind of like create it or manifest it in your life. And so I feel for a lot of you um, that that's what you're doing here is that you are kind of like manifesting things in your life or you're creating things that you want in your head. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> uh, we're, I am going to pull these Oracle cards here in your for your first row, just your current general energies. You have this spell work card. It says using magic spells or manifesting power is strong. Like, are you kidding? Everything I just said. Uh, cast a spell to remove any kind of blockage um, or negative energy. You have a social media card. It says making money with social media. It will be very lucrative. So it also says influencer, YouTuber, Instagram shop or any type of social media. So Again, if you're into business or whatever, uh, social media could be really good for you. I'm also getting that if you want love, um, you know, again, so not business, you could be meeting a person through social media. So uh, there you go. Uh, you have the Seven of Cups again. I was just getting imagining on this card. Seven of Cups is a card of imagining all your options. It is a card of seeing all the things that are possible when you picture creating something in your life or like having something that you desire. And so a lot of you... It's kind of interesting. I feel really good about it, by the way, here, Libra, because I feel it's more of a playful energy that I'm getting here, where it's kind of like you're just saying like, oh, if I were to go get this job, what would my life look like? If I were to go, you know, uh, date this person, what would my life look like? Again, it feels very much more, you know, playful. I don't, I think it's a good thing. Maybe you're just feeling very inspired at the beginning of the year, which is great. Uh, you have the four of swords uh, as your crossing energy. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. And uh, I like this for your reading. There, he is, you know, man. Uh, he is meditating or sleeping here, and he's also like hoping and praying for this right here. There's a, a person who's bl uh, giving blessings to another person in this stained glass window. So I believe that you are kind of hoping for blessings or hoping that the universe will bless you in some way, Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. It looks to me like you're looking for an opportunity, something that will kind of like, I'm, I'm, I will just say this, I'm very surprised the Ten of Wands didn't come up here just based off of how I feel about the reading. It's almost like you feel tired to me or... You know, like not, I, I, you know, I don't think this is a bad thing either. I just think that maybe you're looking for a better opportunity, like in work. You know, if you work all day, uh, eighty hours a week, it, this might be the year where you get something that's just as good for forty, like a normal <laughs> forty hours a week. You know, where you're not like burning yourself out. You literally have this burnout card at the end. So, you know, again, I, I kind of feel like some of you are looking for uh, and finding something that lightens the load, that makes things a little bit easier in your life. So you're not like stressing yourself out, right? In the area of your thoughts, you have the five of wands. I feel like some of you want to do something where there is a lot of competition. I tell everyone, I believe we're moving from competition to co-creation. So I don't even worry about competition. Neither should you. Um, you know, I think that you need to think more co-creatively. Uh, one of my favorite, I just mentioned this the other day, one of my favorite books of all time is The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. And it was written in like the 1920s and Wallace was uh, way ahead of his time. He said that we're entering into a time of co-creation, basically. He said that, um, you know, the gone are the days of competition. And so, um, you know, again, it, it doesn't even, this could be, this doesn't have to be you getting rich, right? This could be you creating love or creating whatever it is that you want in your life. Any type of abundance, you know, is more about kind of moving away from competition. Uh, but again, I, I do feel like some of you could be look, looking at an opportunity because you have the Ace of Pentacles here. And you could be saying like, wow, there's a lot of people who want to get this job or <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people who want to date this person I'm interested in or whatever it is. And I feel like you need to get out of your head, literally here at Libra. I feel like this is saying like, no, uh, if something is for you, it's for you. It doesn't matter how many people there are that are like doing it, right?
You have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is coming up in the area of your foundation. I feel like you're taking your time more. I actually, again, I feel really good about this. Normally, I do not like the Knight of Swords because he, he can represent rushing into things. But coming up in your foundation, it's almost saying to me that the foundation is that you have learned that you can't just rush right into things, that you have to give things you know, time to develop and grow, and you have to um, just allow things happen. So I, for whatever reason, it's like you are being more patient. You know, this this horse that he's riding on, that horse looks super stressed out, right? <laughs> and so I feel for a lot of you, you're just like removing the stress this year, four swords. You know, you could just be, it could be, especially at the beginning of the year, you could be doing things to, um, you know, uh, kind of calm yourself down or take care of yourself better. I don't know, it feels like this is probably one of the best. It's kind of funny because there are no like um, mind-blowing, amazing cards showing up in this reading, but it's just like a nice energy that I get off the reading in general. You have the five of swords in the area of your past. The past position is what you are moving past. So I feel you are moving past competition, you know, exactly like I said, um, you know, difficulties, challenges, people uh, causing problems in your life. It looks to me like you're kind of making your life more calmer or uh, it, it, you are, try, like I almost feel like you are trying to remove things, anything that causes conflict in your life. And again, this is the energy that you are moving past. So I like it. Uh, in this row, you also have the Uncharted Sea card and this Power of Purpose card. I, you have the King of Swords, which I feel is you showing up in a very strong position as well in your future feelings. So I feel that a lot of people are kind of focused on purpose right now, especially in 2024. It makes a lot of sense to me as well. It's an eight year. Eight is infinity. Eight is like, if I put energy into something, what do I get back? Libra is cause and effect. If I put energy into something, what do I get back? So it's almost as if, you are just looking for a place to put all your energy, a place to invest time, effort, and energy as well. The Uncharted Sea card is, I do feel like you are moving into some sort of un unknown area of your life. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, if you are used to having conflict in relationships, maybe you're getting into a relationship where there is no conflict. If you are used to, you know, a high pressure work environment, it's almost as if this card is saying, you're getting into something that's low pressure, that's no pressure, you know, that's easy, um, you know, that has a nice flow to it. So there does seem to me like this Uncharted Sea card, I'm not getting any of the typical meanings that I get on this card. It's more just saying to me, to you, that you're entering into this time that's much more, um, where there might be some adjustments, where you don't have to be like high pressure and, you know, all that other stuff, right? So uh, I don't know, like I said, I feel, I like where this is going. And um, I would he almost say that this is probably one of the best readings I've done for this first quarter. You have this card that says you're shedding energies that no longer match your frequency. That's basically what we've been saying this whole entire time. You won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. See, I'm wondering if you are having ascension symptoms as well here, Libra, like your ears ringing, um, you know, maybe you're waking up in the middle of the night, like at the same time, like three o'clock in the morning, three, 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 or, you know, something like that. You could be seeing a lot of repeating numbers. You know, the list goes on and on with the ascension symptoms. Just Google it. But, um, you know, I am kind of getting that here where maybe you're, again, going from competition to co-creation. But I feel that could be um, in any area of your life. That could be it, you, sometimes I think we compete with ourselves, right? We, we make things way harder in er, certain areas of our life than they need to be, or we look for complicated solutions. You know, as I have been working through these 2024 readings, I, I have started to wonder if what the cards are really trying to say is that not only are we, are we as a collective, but also definitely shows up for you here. Not only are we becoming more efficient, but we're also just finding, you know, maybe this is a year where we're like finding better ways of doing things or, um, you know, or this is the year that where we do move away from competition. It's kind of interesting. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just throwing it out there, right? <laughs> you have the nine of cups. Nine of cups is a card of wish fulfillment. It's also a card of bathing in the energy of what you want. There's definitely an element of kind of like manifestation or matching energy. I think matching energy is better. It's kind of like, I, I like I love the law of attraction. I, it's funny because I've said this a bunch during these readings, but it, it comes up for like, you know, in all these readings. I love the law of attraction, but at the same time, it's like I totally get not believing in it, right? But what I do think is very powerful, whether you believe in it or not, is matching the energy, like just being the thing that you want to be. You know, if you want to be abundant and successful, even if you don't have money, you can still be abundant and successful. And, um, but you have to get there, right? <laughs> And so the Nine of Cups is about ha being the thing that you want to be before you actually have the thing you want. Same thing with love. It's like, there's no reason you can't love yourself as if you are in a relationship. Then you'll attract a relationship into your life. And the Nine of Cups says that. But 
I also literally do feel that you're getting a wish, mostly because of this right here, but also the Ace of Pentacles. This to me looks like you getting something you've been wishing for, plain and simple. Uh, you have the Three of Wands in the area of your near future, or the next three months. You know, this is really the next few months, right? <laughs> this part of the Celtic Cross. And a lot of people have had the Three of Wands in this exact position. It's almost like you're broadening your horizons. I also feel that the Seven of Cups coming up here, sometimes Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, you could be in a position in life where you didn't see much opportunity in something, right? And now all of a sudden, the floodgates open and you see a bunch of opportunity in places where you didn't see any originally. So this could be like one of those things where like maybe you've been having a hard time in love, but maybe you've just been looking in the wrong place and then you go, you know, look somewhere else and you have all these options, right? Uh, same thing in business or work. It's like maybe you've been trying to get a job in one direction, but maybe there's something better in another industry or a related industry or something else, you know, uh, and you all of a sudden have a bunch of options. So I kind of get that feeling of, you know, the floodgates opening because you are broadening your horizons or it's like you're giving yourself more options in life and uh, yeah, really like it. <laughs> uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You also end with the Three of Cups this is all relationships, not just love. So I really feel there could be a lot of opportunity in relationships in general. You could be, uh, you know, I kind of feel see you developing new close relationships. You have that card that says you're attracting your soul tribe as well. So this is not just love. I feel there are, are going to be a bunch of opportunities for you to spend time with people who really matter to you or like new people that you find that you find are, um, that you're really close with and, and stuff like that as well. So really, really good energy. I feel there's like a lot of happiness uh, coming in for you because of these relationships. Relationships. It's interesting that I also feel like these are relationships that can actually grow. Um, where these are people, I feel like you're going to be finding yourself with people who, that like even the words they use are growth words, you know, abundant words, where they maybe are more supportive of, of you. Or, you know, I feel the perspectives of the people that you're meeting this year as well. It's, they are more growth oriented. So it seems to be like a year of growth. And we're only in the first quarter with these readings. Uh, in the area of your future feelings, I feel you're feeling really good. Um, whenever you show up as yourself, this puts you in a position of power and strength. So you're just showing up as your king of swords. And yeah, I just feel really good about that. You have the Three of Cups as your outcome. Three of Cups is a card of a celebration, happiness, joy, you know, kind of a card of your community as well. I'm pretty sure you always get these cards of community with me. And, you know, I think that there are a lot of benefits in your, you know, in your relationships. Not, And we're not just talking about love here. Um, I'm, I'm talking about all relationships. So I really feel for a lot of you in work or business, like even if you're, or what I was gonna say is if you're like trying to find a, a job, there might be people in your community or people you know that could help you get one. You have this burnout card that says, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. Yes, but, I, but again, I was getting something here about you um, going literally, like some of you literally could be going from like 80 hour, 80 hour work weeks to 40 hours, but getting paid the same amount. Again, you could be getting something that's just a better opportunity is what I was picking up here. You have this positive work outcomes. It says consistent effort will bring rewards and major purchase is worth making. Yeah, if you are making, I do like the Ace of Pentacles for work purchases. Um, you know, so again, if you're thinking about making a purchase for your business or your career, I think it'll be worth it. Uh, with this energy here. I would also focus on quality. Um, you know, I tell people all the time that uh, the, the Three of Pentacles, you, you don't have it here yet, but uh, we're gonna clarify right now. Three of Pentacles comes up a lot and Three of Pentacles is a card of quality. And so it says it would be much better for you to buy like one really good thing than it would to buy, you know, a hundred cheap things. You know, I always tell a story. I have a person in my life who has bought probably, I don't know, like 900 blenders since I've known this person. I've bought one blender, uh, just a good quality blender that was expensive, right? One, one time, right? And I still have it. They've this person I know has bought about 900 blenders, right? They they could probably have bought 20 of my expensive blender in the same amount of time. So um, for the same price. So sometimes instead of buying a cheap blender, it's just better to buy the expensive one and have it for years and years and years and years, and it never breaks, right? There you go. Uh, with the Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords, you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, a lot of people, definitely a time to to follow your heart. I do believe we're in a heart-based time where we need to listen to what our heart is telling us to do, whatever that means. And, you know, I would definitely listen to that. But I do feel that you're also taking care of yourself clearly with that four of swords. You know, four of swords is all about taking care of yourself, healing yourself. 
With the five of wands, you have the six of pentacles. Again, like I said, I, six of pentacles is, is equal give and take, deciding where you invest your energy and where you don't. You know, I look at the six of pentacles as planting seeds, meaning if I give a person, a situation, a job, my health, if I give it a seed of energy with an activity that I do or something that I do for a person or whatever, do, does that seed grow or does nothing happen? <laughs> and if something happens, if it grows, great, then I can give it more energy. If it doesn't grow, then I need to either make a change or leave whatever that situation is. So it looks to me like with the five of wands in the area of your thoughts that you're just more thinking, oh, you know, I need to give energy to the things I actually give to me. With the knight of swords, you have the page of swords. Yeah, um, page of swords is a card of curiosity and looking into things on a very deep level. So page of swords, I do believe that air signs especially need to be curious at this time. If you discover an interest or, you know, if you just have a random inspiration to learn something new, I would follow your inspirations. With the Five of Swords, you have the Fool. Uh, I well, I do feel like you have a, <laughs> you know, I feel like you're seeing past people as foolish. You know, there could literally be past people that you're like, these people are fools, you know, it could or it could be like an ex or something like that. But it's kind of funny because I do see a moment, and this might have already happened for some of you, by the way, Libra. There may have been a moment in your life where you saw a person do something and it changed your perspective of that person. I feel this was like a little bit of a wake-up call. It's like, I, I really don't have a good example, but it's like, you know, sometimes I think we have people in our life where it, you see them one way and they do something really stupid and it changes your perspective of them. It's not like you're judging this person either. You're just like, wow, I never thought they would do X, Y, Z and they did. So I kind of see feel that you are, you know, ascending, you're rising above this type of energy. With the five, of, or sorry, nine of cups, you have the temperance card. You could be attracting a Sagittarius as well. I don't really see this as a love reading. As I always say, I think love is always available to us. So, you know, who cares what comes up in a tarot reading <laughs> is what I would say. And, uh, you know, temperance is about turning one thing into another. To me, it's called alchemy. So really, again, I feel that you matching energy is really going to turn your situation around. With the Three of Wands, you have the Moon card. Um, the, the fear of the future. I think everybody has this right now as well. Three of Wands, he is looking into the future. It's like a card of foresight, right? And the moon is not being able to see the future. So I feel that this really says that you could be stepping into uncharted seas, uncharted territory. You could be doing something that you've never thought of before, or uh, you could be working on innovative projects or new directions. And this basically says that moving in those new directions will bring a lot of abundance, but there might be some fears. The moon does not say stop. The moon is part of the fool's journey. There are There's a path normally straight down the moon with some mountains and mountains represent achievements. So it's like you could be achieving new heights here. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the truth and it's also a victory, but you have two aces. So, you know, I would say at the beginning of the year, relationships are clearly very important or you could be working on relationships or improving relationships. And again, we're not just talking about love here. We're talking about every single type of relationship. We're even talking about your relationship to things. We all have a relationship to uh, Netflix. We have a rela relationship to social media. We have a relationship to where we live and, you know, all this other stuff. So I really see you actually going, I see you going very deep. You know, this could be, you know, especially with the Six of Pentacles, I really see you looking at things and being like, is it worth it or is it not? With the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords. You are definitely ending some sort of cycle. You know, I think that you're, you know, I think that a lot of you could be cutting something out here in the past with this energy because, you know, you could be, you could be seeing how maybe you had a person in your life where it's like when they're in your life, your life sucks. When they're not in your life, your life improves. You know, it's like one of those things where you're noticing that. And I'm um, actually, I, again, normally I don't like the Nine of Swords, but you know, I, to me, it's the worst card in the tarot. But, <laughs> you know, I would say that I feel good here because I feel that you're like cutting something out with that King of Swords. King of Swords, card of discernment and final judgment. It's like you are saying, no, off off with their heads, right? With the six, uh, Three of Cups, you have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a victory. Yeah, you're like definitely ending this quarter victorious. I would say you're starting this uh, quarter victorious as well. Six of Wands is having a victory, having success, you know, having good things happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes. Uh, you have this excitement card. Yes, there is a lot of, of, I feel there are a lot of reasons to be excited. I, I think that we're in a time where we need to move towards our excitement as well. You have that power purpose card. It's like when you are focused on bringing more joy and happiness into your life, then that's what you will do. So I would focus on excitement here. 
Uh, you have this fulfillment card. Yes, love it. Definitely a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. Look, there's that ship there. So with the three of wands, if there's an opportunity for you to move in a direction that is uncharted with that uncharted seas card where you don't really know where you're going, I would move in that direction. It's going to lead to a lot of success, a lot of abundance and fulfillment. Uh, you have this lust card. I would be careful of anyone who is just coming in with lust, although it's kind of weird because I feel that if you have a past person who was foolish, I feel like you're seeing that it was just lust and not love, and you could be moving away from that. Uh, next, you have this concentration card. Yes, I, I feel it's time to focus on your purpose, whatever you feel your purpose is, right? Uh, with that power purpose card, I do feel you are, like if, you, if you're sitting here right now <laughs> watching this and saying, I don't know what my purpose is, I do feel that this quarter, you could literally be making some big moves on like, what is your purpose or what direction do you need to move in in your life and you know all that other good stuff. So I see a lot of success here for you, Libra. Uh, you have this revenge card. I, a lot of people have been getting these cards like this, revenge, gossip, you know, in all these decks that I use or something. And so I would just ignore it. I think that's the best thing you can do. I think that the split between like high vibe and low vibe is becoming, you know, bigger. And again, not a criticism. I'm, I'm not saying like, oh, these people are low vibe or whatever, but they kind of are. But, <laughs> you know, what I would say is, you know, I think that uh, low vibe energies are going to start screaming louder, right? And maybe try to, you know, as you ascend, they might try to drag you down. So I feel this is just saying, ignore it. And that's the best thing you can do is give it no energy, give it no power. But uh, I really like where this is going for you, Libra. I love this reading. It's just like calm, collected, you know, good. <laughs> so uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your quarter.